everyone. Rated designs here, rated creative. What do you want? To, whatever you want to call me. Uh, I'm back again with a, another tutorial. It's been a while. It's been a little crazy. I know. I always say that I'm coming back, and then something happens, and then I'm back again. But no more excuses. I'm back again. Enjoy this tutorial, just because you know um, I'm gonna try my hardest to be as active as I possibly can. But I mean, everyone who is graphic designers or are graphic designers who under or do know graphic designers know that it is a crazy field out there and you're always working so you know you gotta make sure your priorities are straight and of course me being in design school it is just hectic and I have a lot of projects due but I have some spring break right now so why not make a video and uh, show you guys a cool little effect that I've been doing a lot lately so one of the things that I've been doing a lot lately just because I feel like you really can get a, uh, a great uh, effect and really kind of make something look a lot better um, just in general with with design work and you know using 3d type is this type that I was using on the brand new um, uh, obey stuff so basically what it is is and I'll zoom in a little bit here is it's 3d type and a lot of people were asking me hey did you do that in cinema 4d and really all it is is it's just me doing this in Photoshop and I basically just shaded everything to make it look like the light source is uh, correct. So I thought I'd show you guys a really cool 3D type inside Photoshop. Uh, this is really usable, it's something that I do and it's also going to show you a few things that you probably don't know that's in Photoshop or you might know. But uh, so let me just get a little, a quick typeface going up right now. It doesn't really matter what you use. Um, you know, preferably stay away from the crazy, you know, uh, you know, what's it called? The good old script type faces and stuff. So we're just going to use this one. This is Stendo 400 regular. I really like this typeface because it's got this old school feel to it. And it's the, actually, you know what, we're going to not use this one because it's a little too thin for what we're going to be going for and the effect we're going to be going for. So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to use a Nike font. Um, here we go, Nike Combat. Okay, so as you see, the reason I'm using gray is because it just kind of looks cool, I think, and I want to try this using gray. But um, okay, so for people that don't know... Um, I'm going to make this all over for you guys again, but we can add just a quick light source so we understand a little bit better of where we're going and what certain things are going to be working and what's not. So let me just stretch this light out. Okay, so now we have a light source. Yeah, it kind of looks a little cheesy. I get it. It's not really the point. We're focusing on the type, guys. <laughs> okay, so prior to anything you're doing, you are going to have to rasterize your type. Uh, type I hate rasterizing type just because you know you can't edit it but for this effect you are going to have to so make sure that you are a hundred percent you know set with what you're uh, using uh, let me just see something real quick okay it's still the same um, so once you rasterize that there's going to be a little thing on your on your uh, tool navigations and all your tools right on here. Uh, if you have your own uh, workspace, I just use Essentials and I add certain things and save. It's basically you go to Window Actions and your actions are right here and you can create a bunch of them. It's pretty cool. I already have one added for 3D, but what you're going to do here is you're going to create a new action. We're going to name it 3D and basically it's already starting to record so anything you do within the next you know however long you are it's going to record your stuff so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to hit command J and duplicate our text I'm gonna move it below this copy I'm gonna go hit command T I'm gonna go to where it says width up here I'm gonna hit 99 percent hit enter 99% hit enter and then hit enter again and then hit 
the stop button. Now what this does is it makes everything a hell of a lot easier instead of actually having to go in and duplicating over and over and over and over and over again. So after that you created a new action. So all we're going to have to do is keep clicking over and over until you get a, a, a nice depth that you actually want. Now the cool thing about this typeface is, or this type of 3D text in Photoshop is that it's very controllable. You can control exactly what you want, the exact type of style that you are going to uh, create. And you can also do it on the fly. Cinema 4D, for people that are a little bit more understanding of that uh, program, me, I'm not the best with it. So I like to, uh, you know, use something more towards, you know, my uh, appeal. So of course what we're going to do here is we're just going to make the top black. Um, actually, we're going to make this a little bit lighter, as you can see. And we're just going to rasterize this again, you know, maybe add a gradient overlay. Uh, just to give it some spice real quick and that's it once you have these you know all added you can 100 percent you know just merge them that's it so what we're going to do here is zoom in and for some typefaces you're going to have to go in these straight lines and you're going to have to you know you know re uh add a you know fill them up to make it a perfect straight edge but this one looks pretty good so we're going to just leave it that way depending upon what you have to do um so what you're going to do here is make a clipping mask over your back copy Make sure that you did not um, merge the whole thing to where your top layer is completely, you know, it, it's still its own layer. These back, they're completely separated. So what you're going to do here is create a, you know, take a soft brush. And you're going to start to do shading. Uh, for people that don't know what shading is, you guys need to seriously start to learn because it is very important. Um, extremely important uh, to well to what we're going to do um, but sometimes what you're going to have to do is just really get in here and uh, add shading and the reason I'm using white right now is just because I need to see where I'm going so I'm, these are all going to be very dark so of course right here is going to be a very dark spot and the majority of right here is going to be a very dark uh, color just because the light source is coming from the top so that's what we're gonna do so far uh, we have another dark area right here another dark area right here and the reason it's light like I said guys um, <laughs> it's because I'm using uh, just so I know where I'm at dark 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 whoops dark dark a little bit of dark and then right here we're gonna give it white and then same thing here just gonna be about a halfway nice fade um, same here gonna give it a nice fade right here and then of course we're gonna have to just right where this angle is of course there's gonna be a little bit more dark than what we have it so I'm gonna just pen tool this on in I'm going to hit fill path with white. And then we're going to just make this the same color, but that's going to be a little bit darker. So once you have that, you can zoom out real quick, just see what we have. We can switch that to, whoops, we have to invert. And we're going to, which invert is command I, if you guys don't know how to do that. Um, it's command I and it just switches from black to white or if it's orange it'll switch to blue and right there we're gonna give it the good old 20 we'll do about 25 percent here um, and then we're gonna do on top of that we're gonna do a layer of lights so this is where you know the white will actually stay for people and here's our white here white here white here um, white here a little bit of white here and that looks oh yeah we're gonna add a little white here so once you do that you can switch that to overlay and we'll do about 50 percent 
add another layer just to, you know, give things a little bit more of a mark, shall I say, on where it needs to be. And shading, of course, is very, very important in my opinion, just because it really makes your work look a little bit more realistic. Um, just, you know, it's very subtle things, like I said, you know. Um, it's very, very subtle things, like, you know, we'll get into really really settle things. And you can go back in. Oop, I have an eraser that is a grunge brush right now. And we can just erase some of it to really give it a little bit more of that edge that we're looking for. And once we have that done, you can zoom out and already it's starting to look like actual 3D type. And that is exactly what we're going for. So once we have that all completely done, we can merge all those layers. And of course you move that out, move this in. You can add an inner shadow, and then I usually use two zero zero overlay white, and I have it around a, well, we'll do 90 here because that is exactly the angle that we're looking at. And actually we're gonna do one cause, just cause that kinda looks weird. Um, and some people like to add bevels, you know, if, if, you know, if that's what you're into, we'll add one real quick just because I think they look cool. And once you're done with that, you can flatten. Then, if you really want to take it to a whole nother level, you can add another gradient overlay. And for a lot of type, I add a nice outer glow, just because, why not? And you can, that it just works with the, uh, the actual banner, like depending upon what it is. If not, then I'll add like a, for this one, I'll probably add a little bit of a drop shadow, which will be about 20, or whoop. 25, 50, and about 15% opacity. And yeah, it kind of looks cool. Kind of looks like it's set in. Actually, I'm gonna really lower that up. Yep, looks nice. So we basically, that's my, uh, that's our type for you. It's very simple, it's very, very easy, and it just looks great on, on banners and stuff like that, and, and, and headers, and even just, you know, website displays and stuff. So if that's what you're uh, looking to do, I think you should definitely check this out. And I think it'll, it'll pretty much be really cool. And I forgot that if you if you do um, want to, you can add an inner shadow to your other type or the other you know layer as well, just to give it you know a little bit more of a dimension. So it's up to you, kind of just play with it. But this is kind of the way to do it. Uh, if you have any questions on the actions, leave some comments so I can answer for you. If not, you know, you know my social link. And also, I just wanted to take a quick uh, second to say thank you all for all the support, man. It's just been absolutely outrageous that, you know, I've been, you know, technically not really doing YouTube and stuff like that for a little bit, in two months, I guess. And, uh, you know, it's been absolutely awesome. And now I'm, you know, part of Obey and again, and it, it's, it's great to be back to where I kind of started my, not necessarily started, but kind of be back in a team that I helped find, not find, but, you know, I definitely helped, uh, impact the community and it, it definitely, uh, definitely feels good. You know, uh, it, it's very humbling and the, the guys are so great in there and it's, uh, it's awesome. So just expect a lot more videos, a lot more work. Um, I've been rated guys and thanks.